we are open. Soul Fuel Fitness, after five months, we are reopening. We're starting back with group classes, and by group, I mean like very small groups, like six people. So there will never be more than 10 people in this building at a time. The garage door is up, the fresh air is in, the street is alive and well, lots of airflow. So when you arrive, thank you. <laughs> when you arrive, you can either come in through here or you can go in through the door but we're gonna try and keep traffic to a minimum in the reception area. So just one person at a time and we'll, we'll get things flowing through. As soon as you are inside the space, you're gonna put on your masks and you will notice that there is no longer an iPad for check-in and there's lots of signs giving you indications. You will always have somebody here, Lori, maybe you'll have Emmett, maybe one of the instructors. So you're gonna check in with them. And of course you can still communicate with them. You can have, make inquiries, you can make bookings, you can purchase merch, you can give air hugs, you can make lame jokes. I mean, all of that is still in place. You can then do a little hand sanitizing, rub a dub dub. Oh, that good old chemical goodness washing away all the germs and viruses, and then walk along footprints that are nice and marked out so the traffic is nice and clean and clear. You'll also see your instructor, for example, maybe it's Michelle wearing the brand new Soul Fuel tank top, and she'll be ready to teach both online and in the studio, just like that. You're gonna notice there's also little place markers. These are our pods. So depending on whatever class we're doing, you might have some equipment set up, so you might have a little bit some pieces. If you need to use weights, you can grab them, then clean them. You're gonna have cleaner, you're gonna have towels, you're gonna have Purell or hand sanitizer. You're gonna have all the things you need. Arrive with your mat, place it down on each end of the lightning bolts, and boom, you've got your home space. We're at your station if you wanna take your mask off and put it in the box. You can work out with or without the mask, totally up to you. There's only six spaces in the room, so it's very distanced. So not many right now, but this is what we're starting with to be safe and easy. Right, Michelle? Absolutely. If you didn't bring a mat, no big deal. We've got mats for rental. They're not gonna smell like lavender anymore. They're gonna smell like deep clean chemicals, but you can rent one of those for $2 or you can buy one of our mats. We're now selling our mats and those are $27. But uh, we are no longer doing just free for all mats. Everybody brings their own. Okay, so the tour carries on downstairs. You're gonna notice some changes. Once again, we're trying to keep traffic limited down the stairs. So if you see somebody down at the bottom, just do a little hand them down. Okay, cool. And we'll communicate that way. Again, there's only ever gonna be a maximum of 10 people in this building at one time. Parties will happen later. So when you come downstairs, you'll notice things are very cleared out. This is all of the storage space. You can hang your coats up. You've still got the hangers here. You can take a seat. You can read all about the instructors. For now, the lockers are closed off just to avoid any touchy-touchy. There's going to be hand sanitizer placed throughout so that at any time you feel like you need to clean it up, you can. You can take a seat on any of the benches, chill out, you know, text your loved ones, uh, you take pictures, look at yourself, but you cannot take showers right now. You can take them at home and you should, but you cannot take them here right now. The PT studio is as is, so if you wanna do one-on-one -on -one training, obviously a very safe, safe space to be. Everything is cleaned down after every client, and we have a thorough cleaning every single night. There's also half an hour between classes, to allow for a lot of cleanup of equipment and just to allow for space for people to come and go without a whole lot of traffic. Our final destination, and I'm just gonna stay in there as the washrooms. You'll notice that we've sort of limited all of the stuff on the counter. So you've got anytime you wanna use Clorox wipes, wash your hands, 
towels to throw away, washrooms, again, both of them are open for your use and we clean all of the handles and so on and so forth between all of the classes. We are very excited to be opening our doors again and we're really excited to see you, but we also want you to feel safe and good and comfortable. So we're starting slow and we're just gonna see how things go and we will gradually build. But mostly we want to welcome you back to your fitness home. So we look forward to seeing you soon.